our, our nasal epithelium, our, our natural like mucosal tissue that runs from our neck, nose, sinuses, posterior throat, down to the gut, all the way out the other end. Um, it's all kind of connected, but we have kind of slightly different cells in different places. The ones that are in our nose here are different from our lungs and from our gut, but the ones I want to talk about here are the ones in the nose. In particular, when COVID gets into the system, what they do is they um, bump into these cells or they infect these cells, and as a result, these cells put out a receptor. And I tell people, think about receptor as, you know, a, a baseball mitt or a softball mitt. It's ready to kind of accept the ball and catch the ball. So when COVID infects some of these respiratory cells in the sinuses, they, the cells automatically put out this little receptor that's called like GRP78. Doesn't matter. It's just the concept that they put out a catcher's mitt. And what happens with this one particular uh, family of mold, mucor, mycosis, um, these spores in particular come in and they have a little protein, sorry, I'm <laughs> blocking my leg. They have a little protein on their surface called like an invasin. And this perfectly goes lock and key with our cells in our sinuses. And when that happens, the respiratory cell essentially opens up and lets the spore on in. So there's this amazing lock and key that happens as a result of COVID infections that allows for more spores to get into the cells. 